You know by now that um, if a piece is in the key of C major, then it's going to end usually on a C major chord. And likewise, if the piece is in whatever, E minor, then it's usually going to end on an E minor chord. Um, the reason for this is because you usually want a sense of completion, a sense of finality at the end of a piece. Um, there is something that happens kind of unusual in, a, in minor keys, in that the last chord actually ends up being a major chord. So for example, if we look at this, we've got our, our nice 5-1 progression, usually we would end with a minor 1. But every so often, you'll see it end with a major one chord. Okay? When it does this, um, this is called a Picardy third. Okay? And it, it only happens in minor keys. Um, the way that this would be notated if you're doing part writing is with an accidental in the figured bass. Okay? Because remember, if you see an accidental just hanging in midair, that refers to the third um, of the figured bass. And at this point, I just want to encourage you to go back to chapter 5 and review the figured bass if you need to, because as we continue with this part writing, then the figured bass is actually going to become more and more important. Okay? And this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg here. So, if we look at this, we're building an A chord. The notes that we want are A, C, and E. But because we have this sharp sign hanging in midair, then we actually need A, C sharp, E. So we would write something like, um, like this. Okay. And that would give us our major one chord at the end of this uh, chord progression. Um, it's uh, kind of quirky and it definitely has an unusual sound. Um, so take a listen and do a little practice with this. And then we're going to talk about a few more new things in the next lessons.